note about God from the closet of my cluttered mind. Um, I was watching a booktuber talk about um, about uh, Graham Greene's At the End of the Affair, and uh, in that book there is a, uh, there's an atheist who is angry with God, or um, there's characters that that um, believe in God but hate the God for what they what they've done and stuff like that. And um, I always look at that from an odd, uh, for not from an odd perspective, because it's probably a fairly common perspective of, I don't believe in God, so I don't feel an emotional investment in it. Uh, the closest thing I could come to it um, would be the concept of nature, life. Um, uh, you know, I, I think it's it's something that we're we're all a part of. It's overarching. I don't think there's a uh, guiding intelligence behind it. Uh, I'm someone who thinks about when I think about um, kind of the processes that something someone like starting off with like uh, Darwin kind of uh, described. Uh, it's that kind of idea of that's how how life operates. And I mean, that is the theory of evolution, uh, not because we're uncertain about it, but because it's a um, it's a model that we've come up with to, to describe the world as we see it. Um, and to see how the world's been capable of such amazing uh, diversity, because if you add the the giant, giant um, um, canvas of time, I, I, a canvas that I that I think as a human brain, it's it's just sort of impossible to um, comprehend. If you add that to something like the mechanism of uh, of of uh, evolution. Uh, and natural selection, uh, that is how you end up with um, how our world is today. Um, it's iron filings that are lining themselves up along a certain kind of a pattern. Um, so that's sort of how I come at the idea of God, is um, it just is. It is something that I am in and amongst and cannot pull myself out of something that um it's funny there's parts of my for most of my brain is very much oriented towards storytelling who wants to make stories who wants to interpret things project my meaning into it but there's something about the vastness of existence and life that um instead of want, being eager to want to adopt um, a concept of a deity uh, that has sort, sort of some kind of a plan for me that has created existence, uh, that sort of, I go out the other side there and um, um, I find myself much more aligned with just looking at this, becoming, going very, very small in a way. Um, with something like the, with the, the natural, the ideas of natural selection, uh, which in itself is a new, is a new concept, relatively new concept, um, at least in the modern sense. Um, and, um, yeah, that's a small, I'm a small, small, small little speck in existence. And, uh, uh, if I, you know, every once in a while, I, I get a slight idea of exactly how small and tiny and insignificant I am within that and just how wonderful that is and how amazing that is and how beautiful that is and how um, wondrous that is to even catch just the slightest hint of a, of a guess of a suggestion of that is just so, so amazing. Um yeah, so that was an enjoyable, enjoyable little um, um, video that just sparked that in my mind, and I thought I'd share share it here in the cluttered closet of my mind. Yes. <laughs>